Hi, this is Dave from Heads Up Health, and in this video we're going to show you how you can track your blood glucose levels in your Heads Up profile. So, to get started, we visit the dashboard, and the first step is if you don't have blood glucose on your dashboard, you're going to want to add it. And the easiest way to add a card to your dashboard is here, using the plus button, and select glucose from the list. You can optionally choose a goal, you can change the color of the font, on the card and add it to your dashboard and first is you'll notice there's already some data in here that's because I've already been tracking blood sugar within my profile so that's where some of these numbers come from the second thing is there are two ways that you can have your blood sugar entries sent up to your heads up profile there are wireless glucometers that will connect through Bluetooth to your phone and the glucometer can automatically send data into your heads up profile. You can see here I've been testing a wireless model from a company called iHealth and in the show notes we'll list all of the wireless models that integrate with heads up health if you choose to use a wireless model. The other way is to just enter your blood sugar manually and if you've got a standard glucometer this is the easiest way to do it it's actually a little bit less headache than worrying about some of the Bluetooth and wireless syncing capabilities. And you'll notice here I can switch to the readings from manual entry anytime I want. So that's what this down arrow does. If you've got more than one source for a given piece of data, you'll be able to toggle between the different sources here. So I'll keep it on manual for the time being. Once you've got the card on your dashboard, the next thing to do is start adding data and to add any data you do it here through the add data button and let's say I want to enter my first blood glucose reading I choose glucose from the list I can update the date and time if I need to I add the reading and then I set any of the appropriate flags here fasting one hour two hour three hour this is meal timing exercise medication and add any notes that I may want to add so perhaps this is after a specific type of meal after salmon salad and maybe this is a one hour reading so I'll flag it here and then hit add so you can see the glucose now updates with my most recent reading uh, a few of the things on the dashboard here you can use the arrows to toggle back and forth between all of your entries you'll see the time and date stamps update here additionally you can click anywhere on the card and it will turn over here you'll see your last five entries, and then down here you'll see your average this month, last month, and year to date. So some basic trending capabilities on the dashboard. Next is looking at it on the analyzer, and you can access the analyzer through this bar graph icon, or you can access it through the link up here. If you use the bar graph icon, we will automatically plot the last 30 days on the graph for you. So here's my last 30 days of blood sugar readings and a few things to keep an eye on here. First is down below for whichever date range you've selected up here this month, last month, custom date ranges, last seven days. Once you've selected the date range down below in this box will automatically calculate the average over that period, the min and the max. So Within the past 30 days, you can see my average is 84 with a minimum of 74 and a max of 99. Next is if you mouse over each data point, you'll see the notes that you made when you entered the reading. So here as I move my mouse over the dot, you'll see the value itself, the time and the date stamp, and any notes you made on the reading. That's especially helpful when you're looking back historically and trying to figure out why some readings were higher than others. You can see here I haven't made the notes, but if I had, I'd get a sense of why this particular reading may have been higher. So that's where the notes come in when you're making entries. The next piece to keep an eye on is this, and this will allow you to filter your readings even further. In many cases, if you're tracking blood sugar, you want to look at your fasting readings separately than your readings after meals, for example. And so that's up here. You can actually set it to show you only the readings that match certain characteristics. So if I only want to look at my fasting readings, I can do that and we'll redraw the graph and only show the fasting readings. Or if I only wanted to show my one hour postprandial readings, I've only got one here. 
they'll show here. So that's how you can filter the readings. I'm going to take it back to fasting for the time being. And then on the analyzer, you can also compare your blood sugar with other data you're collecting at home and start to look for your own correlations in your data. So a good example might be if I wanted to compare my fasting blood sugar over the last 30 days with my weight, for example. And so I'm tracking weight manually, and I can put it on the graph here and start to see if these pieces of data are correlated. And then also start to look down here at the summaries for each one. So you can see as my fasting sugar has trended down, my weight's trended down a little bit as well. And so you can compare your blood sugar with any other metrics you want, including things like your cholesterol levels, your hemoglobin A1C, anything in your database can be plotted on the graph here. So that's how to use the analyzer. And then last but not least is editing entries. Let's say I had made a mistake on this most recent entry I'd made. This one, for example. Uh, I can edit that at any time just by navigating to my data and then going to data feeds, selecting glucose from the list, and then you can edit or delete those entries here. And so let's say I need to change this to 96 or change some of these settings or change the notes I made. I can do that here. In my case, I'm just going to delete that entry since it was only used for testing purposes. So that's it. Those are the tools to get started with tracking your blood sugar. If you have any questions, support at headsuphealth.com. Thanks.